What do we mean by static and dynamic loading? Static loading refers to the load on an actuator when it is in a fixed or stationary condition. Dynamic loading refers to the load on the actuator when it is in motion. So, when we refer to the static load capacity of an actuator, we are referring to how much weight the actuator can safely hold without backdriving or damage. Dynamic loading then refers to how much weight the actuator can push or pull. It's important to note that this loading includes forces pushing towards or compressing the actuator, as well as forces pulling away from the actuator. In some cases, we use the term helping load to describe a condition where the actuator's movement is being assisted by the load. For example, if the actuator is extending, a helping load would be pulling on the actuator as it is extending. Alternatively, when the actuator is retracting, a helping load would be pushing on the actuator as it is retracting. A side load, or a radial load on the extension tube, should always be avoided as there is no internal guide system equipped to resolve this type of loading. When sizing and selecting an industrial linear actuator, it's also important to take into account potential shock loading. A shock load is a momentary spike in the loading on an actuator. This typically occurs when an unexpected variable affects the actuation mechanism. One example would be an actuator that is mounted on a piece of equipment that is traversing through rough terrain. Without proper shock absorbers, the actuator could take extreme load spikes and could cause premature failure if not protected. If you have any questions about loading in your specific application, contact our customer support team.